<laughs> All right, official news or a giant hoax. So that is the question fans had when a number of Spaceball 2 posters popped up in a new in the New York subways of New York City. <laughs> Though the posters looked very legit and well done, Jedi News pointed out that since it was an isolated incident and the posters have only appeared in New York and not anywhere else, it seems as if it might just be an enterprising young fan having some fun. Mark Byers sell these posters as proof we will be getting a Spaceballs 2. Oh, man, I hate that I have to sell this. Because, I, by the way, the posters look. I love everything about them. It's even funny that they call it the teaser poster. Mm -hmm. But I sell that this is any indication that we're getting a Spaceballs 2, the search for more money. As much as I would love to see it, this is not evidence of that. What this is, is anything. It's either some dope like me who had, like, you know, a thousand bucks to kill and just <laughs> decided to put up three posters for fun and take a picture next to it. Or it might be one of these enterprising companies that, like, makes T-shirts or makes posters, like a Mondo situation where it's just like it's fun once it comes out that who is behind the poster that company gets some free publicity so it's an interesting way to market yourself and I think it, it could be beneficial for whatever the company is I don't know and I, I hate that I'm saying this I don't know that I want to see Spaceballs to the search for more money because I, I, is Rick Moranis going to come out of retirement to be dark, he's probably the be best searching part. For him. Yeah. You, you can't get John Candy again. Bill Pullman might be up for the role. Is Daphne Zuna go around? Does she want to do it again? Is Mel Brooks going to be able to do it? Is he going to be able to write it? It just it seems like spoof movies have gone so far down the toilet that not even a resurgence of Spaceballs could bring him back to prominence. Yeah, I'm going to sell it all. So I think it's, it's exactly that. It's somebody who had a lot of time on their hands and, and the, the funds to do it. And and knowing, well, maybe maybe may get some uh, talk here. What I hope happens is that maybe because of this, and now everybody's talking about it, is that Mel Brooks goes, oh, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> and Mel Brooks would do it. It's a matter of, I think that they, if they do it, it would be them on the search for Dark Helmet. Mm -hmm. I think that would be kind of funny. But I kind of agree with you, Mark. I think that it's a little too late. You know, the, it's even if you watch, like for me, Spaceballs still works. Works, but I don't know if people who have never seen Spaceballs can go back and watch it now and appreciate kind of the humor today. I'm I'm telling you, I, I've, I've talked. I'm curious. Like you've if people never seen Spaceballs, there, if you've go watch it right now. Then let us know what you think. I would love to hear that. Like if you've never seen Spaceballs and you watch it now, is it dated? Does it work? Um, I don't know if that style and, and it's it's hard to pull off spoofs and it would be hard to do it for the Force Awakens. Would I want to see it? Kind of, but I also would like, I eh, don't ruin what the first one did. After we finish doing the, the Empire Strikes Back and uh, Return of Jedi, we should do Spaceballs I'd commentary love yes. yeah, as love well. Um, I, yeah, I sell it. It's not, not proof at all. You have three posters in like one subway station or something like that. It's probably just some fan. It, it probably didn't even cost that much, probably a few hundred bucks or something. They designed it and they printed it out and just slapped it on there. I do like the design of it, the whole burnt dark helmet thing uh, you know uh, related to force awakens but as far as it being happening happening i don't think so especially because rick moranis is he doesn't i don't think he wants to do that right but i mean and you'd have to do it with him but uh, well, what if the movie was that they were on and like kind of like luke they were on s searching for him but the question is do you think is there any shot in hell that this is kind of like a like a deadpool thing to where the, the leaked footage when they put out not that Spaceballs 2 is going to be rated R, <laughs> but the, 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 the fact that they, they put this out there, see what the fans think. Because remember when that Deadpool footage leaked? That's why they did that. They did yeah. that to see what the fans would say. And now this picture leaked. And they're like, yeah, does anybody care? And everybody's talking about it. They're like, all right, maybe. Is there any chance? I just don't think so. I, I'm saying, yeah. look, I love that we're getting our news scoops from a New York City subway. I just don't think that it, this has any credibility, whereas Deadpool, there was a fan fervor for it. They had an appetite. Superhero movies were on the way back, whereas spoof movies, they're just they're just not relevant anymore. And I hate saying that because they still make me laugh, the ones that I saw when I was a kid. Well, because they're not making them the, the way they used nah. to, though. I mean, the, the, I don't know what that one company or one uh, studio Abram, is. Abram, Zucker, Abrams, whatever, man. Has run that has run it into the ground. Yeah. I mean, even that, what was that last? Last one, uh, oh, the, the no. 50 Shades, Shades of Black. Of Black. Yeah. Even that one did far less than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.